Hi friends, this is Seth of the Sickness LPs, and today we are back with more Kirby Zepic Yarn on this, well, like, once again, it's Tarine, for me it's Saturday, but for you it's probably Wednesday, Wednesday, did I say Thursday or Tuesday last time? I meant Tuesday if I said Thursday. Anyway, so yeah, we just completed Weird Woods, we completed basically this whole area, I think we may have all gold ranks too at this particular point in time. So that's cool, um, why am I doing that? I should just go on my map and jump around. I'm actually uploading episode 16 as I'm recording this, and this is episode 20, so... Yeah. That. <laughs> Anywho. Um, I believe we were at this place, whatever this place is. Ooh, Beach Splash Land. Splash Land. That sounds like a water park. Is this water park land? And there's like one level here, and the rest is like... Oh, I guess you can't... Oh yeah, there's more over here, you just have to, uh you know, turn into a submarine, the pink submarine. We're going to totally butcher a Beatles song right about now. Anyways, Splash Beach. Let's take this on and take it on with uh, prowess. Yeah, because, you know, I always take stuff on with prowess because I am the best LP ever. Not really. <laughs> Jeez. I'm definitely not the best video game player ever anyways. I've shown that on many occasions, particularly in this game. We have a sawhead shark. I'm pretty sure that exists in real life, even though it sounds like a thing that just got invented by Nintendo to rip off the good old hammerhead shark. Um, and we have these guys wearing lifesavers. They're basically those dumb kids in Pokemon that battle you every time you go onto a beach, and they have, like, tubes, and they're called tubers for some reason, instead of called dumb kids that swim because that would be a more apt name for them, in my opinion, because that's essentially what they are, especially when they're annoying and just annoy you while you're trying to get past a simple Pokemon game. Jeez. Um, what's up here? We have another fly. Let's open this guy's fly, and where will it lead us? Probably out someone else's mouth again, because that makes total sense. Once again, probably the mouth of the cloud. That's gonna happen, right? There's a lot of Waddle Dees sleeping up there, so it basically heaven can... Yeah, we're being barfed out by a cloud again. And what does this moon have to say? What? There's a moon inside a moon? Uh, that's, that's the makes even... Uh, wait, it's a sun? What? What? Okay. Now, oh, I see. The moon was blocking the sun and shenanigans. Or Seth... Na no, they're not. Sun nanigans. Let's leave it at that. Um, what, what's going on here? We have these tons of Waddle Dees that are kind of annoying me by their presence. Their presence disturbs me. But anyways, there should have been a um, uh, treasure over there. But who knows, maybe now that it's daytime, um, there will be an awesome daytime treasure of daytiminess. Because daytiminess is definitely a thing, and that makes total sense. And I am not just bad at speaking. Uh, what, 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 whoa, 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 okay, for a second. What? There are turtles now. So basically what I did here was made this harder for me, yeah. That's great, like, I really needed that. Ugh, anyways, let's look for more treasure, ta treasure stuff, treasure-tastic stuff. Whoa! I think we got that. Um, I'm not sure. It's down here, we have more beads down here. Don't crush us, turtle! Okay, it didn't work. Uh, apparently this is on a timer, so this turtle just... I, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 100% sure it's the turtle that decides it. The turtle's just like, well, you know what? I feel like the water needs to be higher at this point in time. Haha, ha, you suck, dumb fishy. Let's make a spear out of you, because that's all Kirby knows how to do. Anyways, um, grabbing this. What is the purpose to these spear things, anyways? Is there a purpose other than getting beads from enemies you kill with it? Wait, there is a treasure down there, so I guess that will be the first treasure of the level, hopefully, I mean. And we're almost silver rank, too, so either we're really close to the end of the level or we're just doing abundantly good this time. We got the sun clock! This sunny clock gives you a warm glow. Ah, how much you want to bet you have to go back and turn it into a moon again so that you can get the not sun clock in the same darn place? That would just be a jerk move, but then again, that's just the kind of thing I'd expect from a Nintendo game feel like you should be able to go down there and that you probably need to kill these things in order to do so. So I think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, yes. And no, there's absolutely nothing down there but wasting time. Jeez, this is just Wario Land 3. This is kind of Wario Land 3. I think I've commented about this before, but this 
Like, a way you can't die in this game reminds me of Wario Land 3 in that sense. Um, geez. I was gonna try to carpool my way up there, but apparently not. Haha, <laughs> this will totally redefine carpool, considering, you know, there's water. Ha ha ha, my jokes are the best. Anyways, let's kill this guy. Uh, what's up here? Nothing. This also redefines the term what's up. Or, and by redefine, of course, I mean use in the context that actually makes sense with the term. Anyways, that fish is gonna kill us! Fisheries are killing us now. Everything's killing us. Everything's out to kill us. They're they're, they're tired of being pushed around. They're, they're starting to fight back. Because you know Kirby kills everything for no apparent reason, and now they're like, No! You, you can't kill us for no apparent reason. We did not do nothing. We're just fishies, and we're just having an overall fun time, and you're just coming over and killing us, and now we're pissed and stuff. Jeez, how the hell do I get up there? Um... Um, there's this... Okay... There's... Oh, okay, there's that. There's that. At least there's that. Yeah, you have to go quickly at this point, I suppose. And get up there. Yeah, alright. And what do we have here? We have treasure. Treasure-tastic. I'm trying to talk a little louder anyways. We got the moon clock. Apparently there's two clock... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna put these both in the same house, just because that makes total sense. This moon clock gives off a gentle light and goes dark once a month. Oh, well, that, that's great, um, because, you know, that makes sense. That's what everyone should look for in their clocks, a clock that just gives off light because, you know, that's what you wanted it for. But then all of a sudden, once a month, nope, I'm broken. Then you bring it all the way to the shop, like the clock shop, because that's a thing, probably in Clock Town in, uh, you know where, and you'll just sell, go, go up to them and say, dude, my clock's not working, and they're just going to wait and say, okay, leave it with me, and they're just gonna wait a day and it's gonna start working. Why am I ranting about something that's not even a real thing? Jeez. Um, that, that's, that's weird, but whatever. Okay, apparently I can rant about things that aren't real things. That's, I, I reserve the right to do so. Anyways, what's this? I was kind of hoping for a, uh, exclamation mark, but that works too. Um, how will I, how the heck will I get up there? I guess I just have to go back. I mean, because you can't get, you know, no matter what you do, those spikes will be in your way from getting there. Ah, just to spite me. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm trying to talk a bit louder because uh, this mic, well, even the last mic had that problem where the, uh, most mics have that problem with me, honestly, where the dynamic amplitude, for those of you who understand that term, if not, then don't worry, is too high, which basically means that... It either can be really loud and peaking, or really, really soft to the point you can hardly hear. So I'm just going to try to keep my voice consistent, at least until I get my new microphone. Then I'm going to worry about a better setup with less dumbness in the... Dumb, dumbness in the dumbness. Yes, dumbness in the dumbness. So you're going to want to ride the waves. We're basically surf... We're surfing in a pink submarine. We all surf in the pink submarine. Anyways, you got new music. And is this new music some pink submarine shenanigans by the not Beatles? Then maybe. I don't know. But uh, Secret Island is apparent. This apparently is called Secret Island. I didn't know that. That's a cool name. I like that name. Nintendo, think up better names. Um, why did I just say I like that name and then say think up better names? Because I wasn't sarcastic, I swear. I just don't make sense sometimes. So uh, no matter what we get, we're going to get some sort of bonus here, which is probably going to get us... Of course, I got the two-star bonus, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure that'll get us into gold rank. Yep, like just enough to get a gold rank. I knew it, or rather, I didn't know it. Well, I kind of knew it because I predicted it, and because you know, anytime you predict something, that means you knew it. You're not. You, there's no such thing as making things up at all. Nope, that doesn't exist. So we got all our beads. We got the streaks. We got a gold medal, and we got all three treasures. So 100% run of another level. And we also found the whistle patch, which also helps, because now we can whistle at things. And, hey Kirby, you can go into a brand new hide-and-seek stage. I don't know why that sounded nothing like Zeke. I is Zeke taking lessons to have a less annoying voice? <gasps> that, that'd be the day. Anyways, let's just shove this whistle there, and it's gonna go... Wah! Apparently that's my imitation of a whistle sound. Um, that is the best whistle sound ever. I'm glad I made it. And we unlock Blub Blub Ocean, because, you know, when you whistle, like, big schools of fish will just run away. Probably will, even though I'm pretty sure sound doesn't travel all that well underwater. Or does it travel better? I think it travels better, actually. It's just you can't hear it. it, it, it it's hard to explain. In fact, I don't really know myself, so I should stop talking. I'm just going to go head on to Zeke. 
Because I don't think there's actually another Zeke level. I think we may be done for the episode at this point. And it's ten minutes in, so might as well. But uh, actually, we haven't done um, uh, Carrie yet. I, I thought it was Carly, but apparently it's Carrie. I'm, I'm just going to... Well, I guess because... isn't Doesn't Japanese... Oh, is that L turn into R? Yeah, I think that's actually L turn into R in Japanese and not R turn into L. Oh, well, this is an anti-Japanese person. An anti-Japanese kid who is emancipated. Yeah, that's basically the story behind this person. And Patch Castle is the, uh, Carrie's transport, okay? Get Carrie to this spot in two minutes. So I guess it's basically a speed run from one spot to another. Okay, so, uh, why not? Let's do this. Uh, yeah. And Waddle Dee, see, all of them are dancing now, so the, I, I guess that guy is tired of his nap. Get Carrie to this spot in two seconds. Okay, so I guess you just have to go find that spot in the level. Uh, wait, no, you have to carry her. Ah ha ha, I see the pun there, get it, carry, ha, uh, anyways, I suppose, um, jeez, what do I have to do, throw her, use her to get to the other side, jeez, uh, this is basically child abuse, um, anyways, let's just jump across, jump over this puddle of mud, or puddle of not mud, and, as the case may be, because I need to use you to, th this actually seems to, it seems like it'll be a pretty fun mini game. Just not what I'm used to. Probably a bit harder, too, because, I mean, uh, I guess it's not that hard. I think we're actually right near where we want to be. Oh, uh, jeez, how old? Oh, I guess we can throw... Yeah, we can throw her up there. Car Carrie, you can basically throw her any way possible, apparently, if any of you are wondering, unlike the monsters that can only be thrown forward for some reason. I think you may be able to throw the monsters upward as well, but... I don't know. Um, let's just head over here. I don't think you have to go up there, honestly, so... Let's throw Carrie up here. Get up here, go into a uh, different perspective mode, or not different perspective mode. Behind a building is what I should be saying, even though that's not what I'm saying apparently. And I think we're here, so, uh, yeah. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Uh, there we are. Ta da! What? That's not the place? What? Where? Then where is the place? I thought that was the place. I. I, I don't. I don't. I don't even know. Oh, this must be the place. This is not the place I'm going to, um, uh, slap myself. You heard, you heard it here, folks. This is... I don't know, does this count as the place or not? <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, here we are. Yeah, we made it. This is basically the end of the level, almost, I think. Anyways, you did it! Congrats! And I kind of... I'll just lightly slap myself on the face. And you probably did not hear that on the microphone, but I did it. Don't don't deny it. Don't make me do it again. Uh, beads and time. That's good. I, I think we did overall well. And we can go into a new stage, so that's good. I wonder what she says when you beat her stages, even though she's just going to say the same thing over and over again, so the newness of it will only last so long. Now that was totally fun, Kirby. I found this while we were out there. You want it or what, Kirby? You were with us the whole time. In fact, you couldn't move at all if it weren't for us. How did you find that? Whatever. Jeez, this... More Nintendo logic, or feel-good lo feel logic. That sounds kind of odd, but whatever. Fluff blue fabric, and that's pretty great. And I, don't, I actually don't remember if we got all... I think, yeah, we got all the treasures in this one, so I don't have to go back. Alright. Looks like we've totally got to get out sometime and have fun again. Promise? Uh, sure, yeah. Because it's totally fun carrying you around, hell, I guess. It's so like a kid to think that it's fun for people to carry them around. Anyways. Oh, wonderful. Prince Fluff, Lord Kirby, I've been looking everywhere for you. I have one more favor to ask of you. And we just jump up. Yay! We love doing favors for this guy! It would be nice to expand Quilty Court to three floors, but I need more beads. Do you think maybe you could bring me, oh, I don't know, maybe 25,000 beads? $25,000. Oh, perfect. I don't know why I was nervous about asking. Thank you. Come find me once you've got the beads. You're probably nervous about asking because last time you asked for something, I actually raged at you for not actually waiting for us to answer, so now he's probably paranoid of us. So what? So he doesn't take the beads. We obviously have that many beads. I think we have like twice that amount of beads at this point because of all the levels I had to redo off screen to get all the treasures. But anyways, yeah, we have the beads for this guy, so we can expand Quilty Court some more. Hand over 25,000 beads. Yes, I think we will hand over 25,000 beads. 
Thank you ever so much. And now he can add another floor to the building, yada, yada, yada. I will get to it right away. Wow. Once again, this is... Who... Whoever builds giant buildings, hire this guy as an architect. He could build the Second Empire State Building in two minutes. Jeez. Look at that! Three floors of pure majesty! Why, I'd almost say that it rivals our own Patch Castle. I think it kind of does, actually. It's the finest apartment building in the land. Well, it's the only one, but that does not matter. And you know what that means. Two more available apartments, Lord Kirby. I could use your expertise in decorating furniture, those as well. So apparently our expertise is limited to shoving things on a wall when there's a black outline of it already placed there. Yeah, we're totally experts in home decor. Wonderful. I'll leave you to do it in the way that only you can, Lord Kirby. Once again, how can only we do it? There's a freaking black outline telling you exactly what to... whatever. Jeez, th this is like the, this video doesn't make sense video. Anyways, um, Patch Castle. Yeah, see, it kind of is almost as big as Patch Castle, even though it's definitely not as majestic, because, you know, it's not a castle. Anyways, so I guess that ends this off, and there are two more apartments, which I'm not going to take care of now. We're 15 minutes in. Jeez, this video, a lot of time-ish. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, um, uh kind of just waiting for Kirby to jump rope now so I can stop talking, because that's a thing. Jump rope, darn it! Yeah, see, now people are talking in the background. Yeah, there we go, see, he, he he finally does it. When I don't want him to, he does it automatically, but when I want him to, no, he just waits his arse off. Anyways, 